Today I wanted to show you guys how to get more accuracy out of your Govi Immersion and to do so without spending any extra cash. That's right, my last approach had you buy a kind of like cell phone filter that you put over, like it's an ND filter, and you put it over the camera to get better accuracy. Well, I found a way to increase accuracy if you don't have the cash for that, and I think it works pretty well. So what we're gonna do is open up the GoV app. As you guys can clearly see, I've got mine opened up here, and all you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your brightness down to about 65. Now, once your brightness is at 65 or 66, you wanna make sure your saturation is down to zero, and then just make sure your calibration is performed correctly. And when you do that, you'll notice things start getting incredibly accurate. Now, what I wanted to show you guys is just like a little example here in the wonderful world of Wonder Calibration Disk. We're just gonna hit uh, Retail Loop. And I'm going to uh, fast forward to some scenes to where it can be a little bit more beneficial. Now, unfortunately, we have to wait for all this stuff to load up, but I'm telling you, I was uh, experimenting around with some anime content last night and I saw some pretty impressive stuff. So I figured, you know what? Why not share this tip with you guys in case you don't know? Because it really does change the game. So I'm going to skip this part just for copyright reasons. Uh, let's try to go to one of their little uh, loops. One of their little demo loops. It'll take a little while to get there. There we go. And you can kind of notice as colors pop around and fly around. It's a little harder to see because it's not in a pitch black room. But... Trust me when I tell you, your accuracy will most definitely improve doing this method. Now, another step to this process, though, is making sure you're on the latest firmware update because that's the one that kind of sort, sorted out some more of those issues that we had as far as like some regular colors and things like that. Now, again, this device will probably never, ever be perfect, but I think it goes a lot farther than it used to in terms of accuracy. So I just kind of wanted to share this little tip out with you guys. I really find it to be pretty incredible now from what it was. So yeah, you're definitely getting all the colors that you could need. And it comes in pretty accurately. The only color that I find that really is a problem is like when you get to like these low lit scenes like this, not really low lit, but like the camera perceives it as kind of like a, a harder low lit scene. Um, where, you know, you have a bunch of different skin tones, it gets really confused. Like you have a blue on the, on the jackets, you have the orange in the hair, you have a brown skin person, you have a white skin person because it's not going through the HDMI. You do have some irregularities. However, it, as you can clearly see, it, it does a great job of picking up most of the colors pretty darn well. And it, trust me, it's a lot more accurate. So, uh, let me know what you guys think about this. I think it's a pretty good tip. And as always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching the number one brand in honesty. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.